Hi, I'm Gerald. Um, I'm from Singapore and I come from the National University Health System or part of the National University of Singapore. I'm actually the um, PhD candidate in family medicine and um, I passed my defense yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> and um, uh, I believe I'm the first uh, PhD in family medicine graduate from the Schulich School of Dentistry and, and Medicine and Dentistry. I decided to pursue my PhD mainly because um, I wanted to get skilled uh, in research uh, and um, the PhD in family medicine uh, provided me with that. In particular, I wanted to develop skills in, that are related to the field of family medicine and that's why the PhD in family medicine um, covers the kind of main um, study methodologies that are currently used in family medicine research today, which include quantitative as well as qualitative me uh, research methods um, and that's, that's the kind of um, training and background the PhD provided me, which uh, has been proven very useful in my work back home in Singapore. I think the faculty in the Department of Family Medicine are, um, are uh, outstanding as well as um, um, amazing in their ability to teach in a very uh, constructive and nurturing manner. Um, I think they, they, they really care for their students, they really look into what kind of pedagogical goals the students have, what kind of goals they want to achieve out of the master's program and the PhD program and they work hard to help us achieve those goals. Um, so it's a very student-centered kind of uh, uh, approach to, 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 to teaching and learning which, which is really refreshing and uh, really satisfying for a student. Um, the, the staff are knowledge, besides being knowledgeable and really experienced in what they do, um, they, they also are compassionate, they're also understanding and they're also, they do their best to try to, to help you out um, uh, at whatever level of, 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 of skills you are or competency that you are. One of my main limitations is that I still have duties back home, uh, academic and clinical duties back home and I couldn't really afford to actually be away for three whole years just to do my PhD. Um, but at the same time, um, you know, the PhD program, the online program, actually allowed me to still pursue my PhD in a very rigorous manner, um, um, while at the same time me remaining at home, still uh, working during the daytime, but in the nighttime and the weekends is where you actually do most of your, of your PhD work, um, and allowed me to, 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 to still maintain my, 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 my clinical and academic commitments to be with my family back home in Singapore without having to uproot them to, 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 to Canada for three years. Um, and um, so that, that, was the, that was, in fact, that was the main feature of the PhD program that I looked out for. I was looking for a distance learning PhD program that, that would also have an on-site component because I think that's very important for, for learning face-to-face -face discussions and, and, and such, but also be flexible enough to have the distance learning component um, whereby things that can be done through distance learning are done through distance learning. Yeah, um, I, I appreciated how the online courses were carefully crafted because I think uh, the online materials and, and, and the way that the online discussions were actually held were very skillfully and carefully planned and, and executed. I think um, the, the requirements for us to log in every day uh, to see what your peers have actually um, uh, posted online to, and to, and to in, indulge and involve yourself actively in active discussion, that, that um, I felt um, was a strength of the program. The other thing about um, online discussions is that um, unlike when you're talking where you're, you're free to express yourself but in an online discussion you really have to formulate your thoughts very clearly you must you actually force yourself to, to, to in as few words as possible to express yourself as clearly as possible and I think that skill alone helped to build up and refine my writing skills, my communication, my written communication skills. So that was an unexpected pleasant benefit from the, the distance learning component of the program. The friendships that I've made uh, with, with uh, my, my classmates, uh, my course mates in, in the program are an amazing friendship. I think, I think the two weeks while we're here in, in Canada um, are so intense. Uh, we're, we're with each other almost the whole day, we're, we're having very stimulating discussions, kinds of um, builds friendships quickly and at the same time um, because uh, you're interacting with peers 
uh, you develop quickly mutual respect because everyone's an, an expert in their own field and everyone's from different parts of Canada, different parts of the world and everyone's contributing different perspectives to, 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 to an issue or to a, a point for this discussion. Uh, that really makes it really rich uh, 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 in terms of the understanding, in terms of the issues involved, in terms of learning. And then to extend that, that, that relationship naturally online um, through um, online discussions, Skype videos, chat sessions and all that. Um, it's a great way to, 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 to cement and, and continue to build that friendship. And what I've looked forward to every year for the past three years that I've been in, 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 in coming back for the online sessions is to meet up with the friends again, uh, to continue to engage in face-to-face -face discussions, to continue to where we left off online. Um, and I've, I've developed great friends um, while, I, while I'm doing my course. I mean, it's, some of them flew all the way from Edmonton and different parts of Canada just to be present for my PhD defense. Um, it speaks of the kind of the, 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 the strength and the, of the bond of the friendship that we've built just in these few years, um, whether it, it be it um, face to face or, 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 or distance, you know, it's, it's, it transcends distance, I think. I hope to use my PhD actually to benefit um, my country, at least. Um, I hope to go back and help to build up family medicine research back in Singapore. Um, as, as well as to, to, to use the skills I gain in health services research to address some of the pressing problems that we have in, in, in my country and that would be a rapidly aging population um, and ramping up the services to meet that need.